In a small, isolated town, nestled amidst dense forests and far from prying eyes, stood the crumbling remnants of the Blackwood Asylum. It was a place of torment and despair, where the mentally ill were once imprisoned in the name of treatment. Abandoned for decades, the asylum had become a dark relic of a bygone era, shrouded in chilling tales that sent shivers down the spines of even the bravest souls. The town's residents spoke of unsettling occurrences near the asylum. Strange figures were said to wander the grounds at night, their faces twisted in anguish and their movements unnaturally jerky. Unearthly whispers could be heard on the wind, carrying cryptic messages that filled the hearts of listeners with dread. Those who ventured too close to the decaying building claimed to feel a presence, an overwhelming malevolence that seemed to seep from the very walls. One summer, a group of adventurous friends decided to explore the abandoned asylum. Ignoring the warnings of their elders, they armed themselves with flashlights, cameras, and a mixture of skepticism and excitement. As they stepped through the shattered entrance, the air grew heavy, and an oppressive silence settled over the group. The interior of the asylum was a maze of decayed hallways, shattered windows, and decaying remnants of forgotten lives. The walls were adorned with faded, peeling wallpaper that seemed to whisper secrets of the past. Shadows danced in the corners of their vision, and the air was thick with the scent of rot and decay. As they ventured deeper, strange phenomena began to manifest. Disembodied footsteps echoed behind them, yet no one was there. Cold spots appeared without warning, chilling them to the bone. The group's camaraderie began to fracture as unease turned to fear. Their exploration led them to a door that creaked open with a haunting groan. Beyond lay a room filled with remnants of crude restraints, decaying medical instruments, and faded patient records. As they skimmed through the records, their eyes widened in horror at the cruel treatments that had been inflicted upon the asylum's residents. It was then that they heard it, faint, agonized whispers that seemed to emanate from the very walls. Panic set in, and the group attempted to flee, but the asylum seemed to twist and contort around them, leading them deeper into its nightmarish heart. The whispers grew louder, forming into a cacophony of anguished voices, recounting the horrors they had endured. Shadows lengthened and morphed into grotesque shapes that reached out to grasp them. One by one, the friends were separated, each facing their own terrors. They glimpsed fleeting visions of past patients, tormented souls, trapped in a cycle of suffering. The asylum itself seemed to feed on their fear, growing stronger with each cry of terror. As dawn approached, the survivors stumbled out of the asylum, their minds fractured by the horrors they had witnessed. They carried with them a haunting presence, a sense that the asylum's darkness would forever be a part of them. The town's residents avoided them, sensing the lingering malevolence that clung to their very beings.
The Blackwood Asylum stood as a grim reminder of the atrocities committed within its walls, a place where the line between sanity and madness, reality and nightmare, was forever blurred. And as the years passed, the asylum's legend grew, drawing in those curious enough to face its horrors, a perpetual cycle of terror that ensured its dark legacy would never fade.